In our series of what electrode numbers means, we're going over the last digit for coding current penetration manipulation. Today's video will be about penetration. Let's get to it. So, if our number ends with zero, such as E6010, the penetration will be deep penetration. If our last number is a one, such as 6011, the penetration will also be deep. These are the only two numbers that will have deep penetration as part of the rod. If our last number is a two, it will have medium penetration. If our last number is a three, it is going to have shallow penetration. A lot of folks use 6013 rods for thinner material. For small projects, it's easier to weld with. It's a shallow penetrating rod. If our last number is a four, it provides medium penetration. If the last number of our electrode is a five, it will also give us medium penetration. If our last number for our rod is a six, it will give us medium penetration. If our rod ends in a seven, it will give us medium penetration. Last but not least, if our last number is an eight, such as 6018 or 7018, which is used a lot in structural, it will give us medium penetration. This is something very important to memorize. This is something y'all will want to know for the licensing exam. This is not part of the open book section. This is stuff you need to memorize. This has to be known knowledge. It's something that just has to be known. You can't skip on this. This is stuff that if you're a backyard welder, you probably don't need to know any of this. It probably won't matter too much, but if you want to be serious, if you want welding to be a career, a profession, a money maker, you're going to need to know this. And it does take a little time. Make some flashcards. It actually does not take as long as some may think. This all ties together. I guarantee it will help out. Let me know down in the comment section what y'all have been thinking about these videos. And for the apprentices, memorize this. Those who want to be welding, that are going to go to school or thinking they want to go to school for this. If you want to be a, a licensed welder, this is something you have to know. For all the journeymen that are licensed, not just certified, but licensed welders, Put down in the comments what y'all think. Let all the, the punks and the wannabe welders know how important this is and how much it's not just go weld and ta-da, you're a journeyman welder. This is stuff that's needed to pass different tests. If you're in school, are your instructors going over this? Are they helping you study this for the licensing exam? Uh, I'm curious to hear y'all's thoughts. Every place is different. Some places don't need to be licensed, so some of this isn't as important. But if you want to be a journeyman welder, you need to know this. It's stuff that will really help you out on the job site. It will help you shine above the others if you're not in an area that needs licensed welders. Again, licensing is better, it helps you out, puts you above everyone else if you're in an area that doesn't need it. Here in Los Angeles, it's mandatory to be licensed. All this has to be known by all the journeyman welders. If you're certified licensed, you have to know this. There's no way around it, you have to know it. So let me know in the comment section. I'm very curious to hear y'all's thoughts. I will see y'all in the next video.